Now, the question is, what is a Holy Spirit? Okay, what is a Holy Spirit? Okay, Christians, theologians, scholars, uh, the Pope, all Catholics, all Christians will tell you that the Holy Spirit is a mystery. And they will also tell you, especially the Trinitarians, which is the majority, will tell you that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is a person, another person of the Godhead. So you have, listen now, so now you have one person, the Father, another person, the Son, and another person, the Holy Spirit. I will destroy this completely, utterly, because this is utter nonsense. This is not in the Bible. The Bible doesn't teach anything like this. This is an invention to keep you in Babylon, to keep you confused, to keep you giving money, to keep you not knowing. If, if this Holy Spirit is the advocate, the teacher that will guide you into all the truth, how could he not reveal to you what what is God? What is the Spirit? Obviously, you do not have any Holy Spirit or any entity or any spirits or anything like that inside of you. And now I am going to completely destroy the Trinity forever. Because what I write, what I say, is law. It cannot be changed because it's the revelation. Okay, what I say is the truth. You cannot go back anymore. There's no more, no more spirits. I told you that I was going to destroy religion and spirituality. So no more. There's no more. That, those things do not make sense. Telling a person using this term spirit, which means nothing because it doesn't exist. It is confusion. That's why we have the confusion in religion. In all religions, there's confusion. Because no one has ever understood this. This is something clear and logical. It has to be logical. It has to make sense. It has to make common sense for everyone. Okay? And now I am going to reveal the mystery. Okay? Which I am doing right now. I already told you that Jesus was not sending any Holy Spirit. Okay? Or any spirit of the truth. That's not what he was saying. That makes no sense. Okay, so what is a Holy Spirit? I am going to show you what the quote-unquote, quote-unquote Christians, Christian experts say about the Holy Spirit. Okay, and I am only using this, these videos here as a reference. Okay, I have no rights to this video. I am not claiming any rights to this video, anything. I'm just using this as a teaching aid. That's it. Okay? Now, this guy here is doctor. This guy is a doctor. Okay? This guy is a doctor. Dr. Bobby Conway. And he's the founder of the One Minute, one minute Apologies. The experts, these experts, okay, there's people, oh, there's people like this all over the internet. Millions of them claiming to have the truth. And this is why Jesus says, do not do this. Because Jesus says that there was only one teacher. He's the only teacher. And he said that another teacher was coming. Did this guy claim to be the teacher? No. Why is he teaching? Why is he teaching when he himself is telling you that the, that the Holy Spirit is a, 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 a person, an entity, a, a teacher? Why is he teaching? Couldn't the, couldn't the Holy Spirit do this, right? It, you see, this is, this, is, this is, I'm giving you the evidence, all right? He's doing this because there is no Holy Spirit inside of any Christians teaching them. Or else he wouldn't have to do this. You see, the, the scam... The scam with Christianity is that when you go to church, when you go to church, the pastors will tell you. The only thing that the pastor will do is read the Bible. He does the same thing that you do in your house. He reads the Bible. But you pay him to read the Bible for you. Because that's the only thing he's doing. And then he tells you how great the Holy Spirit is. And the Holy Spirit is going to do this. 
and this Holy Spirit is going to teach you. The Holy Spirit is going to be inside of you. The Holy Spirit is going to guide you. The Holy Spirit is going to do this, right? But why does he have to say it if you have the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit should be telling you, not him. Why is he saying it? Obviously, it's because there's no one inside of you telling you. So you have a church full of people. They all have this quote-unquote Holy Spirit teacher inside of them. Yet they are sitting there listening to the pastor. And then, you know, and whatever they learn is that they learn it from the pastor. They didn't learn anything from no Holy Spirit. And what they learn is uh, error. It's error because the, they, the Christianity is based on a false doctrine. So I am going to show you the, the absurdity that I, I said before in one of my first videos that I did when I was driving. It, uh, incoherence. Incoherence is, incoherence is when people are saying things and, and they don't know what they're saying. It's a phenomenon that happens. And people don't even know that this phenomenon is happening. But it happens every day. And this is specially and this happens especially in religion. Okay? You go into a church <laughs> into a church and you go there at your own risk because what they're gonna put inside your head is pure, pure uh, nonsense. Alright? This is I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you what this man says. And I have nothing I have nothing personal against him, you know, I'm just using him. As an example, let's listen to to this guy, and he, the, the this is the this is the concept that Trinitarians have of this of this Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit a person? Well, certainly not like we are in the sense that the Holy Spirit is flesh and blood. The Holy Spirit is a spirit. Uh okay, he says the whole the Holy Spirit is not flesh and bones flesh and blood right the holy spirit is a spirit and that i'm sorry that that makes no sense this is the erroneous concept that christianity preaches okay the holy spirit is a spirit is a spirit because when they say a spirit they are thinking of an entity and and they are thinking of a person because of the ro erroneous concept that people have of what or, of a person, right? Oh, he is a person, like a human being. So the spirit is not flesh and bone, but it's a person, an entity. He has, like Christians say, he has the will, he has the, he has a mind, he has feelings. You could you could grieve the Holy Spirit and all that nonsense. But I am here to end that. Okay, I'm here to end that. I have here uh, a small, the you know, the meaning, all right? The, the word holy, the word holy means set apart. Okay, I want you to, to understand this. It means, is, is the, the real meaning. It does not mean holy There's in, in the holiness concept that people have in their heads. Okay, it means set apart. It means good because it's something set apart for good. Like I said before, and the word spirit means person, persona. It is a way of thinking. It is your way of thinking. And you cannot detach your way of thinking from you. All right. Now I'm going to go to the next step. 